what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Fox News Sunday host Chris Wallace opened his interview this weekend with Housing and Urban Development Secretary Ben Carson by asking about the terrible incident in Atlanta that ended with the fatal shooting of 27-year-old Rayshard Brooks after he was found sleeping in his car by police. As Wallace put it, Brooks was clearly resisting arrest when he apparently grabbed one of the officer's tasers and ran away from him. But he asked, was it appropriate to use deadly force against somebody whose original offense was that he fell asleep in the drive through lane at Wendy's? After correctly suggesting that perhaps he was not knowledgeable enough about the situation and police shootings in general, Uncle Ben weighed in anyway. I think this is a situation that is not clear cut, you know, like the callous murder that occurred in Minnesota. And it really requires the heads of people who know what should be done under these circumstances to make judgment. Pressed by Wallace on why he didn't believe the shooting was clear cut, Uncle Ben started comparing the shooting to the police shooting of George Floyd, but the host cut him off quickly. No, no, I understand that. But why was the Atlanta case not clear cut, he asked. Because we don't know what was on the mind of the officer, Uncle Ben answered. When somebody turns around, points a weapon at him, is he absolutely sure that's a non-lethal weapon? You know, this is not a clear-cut circumstance, he continued, repeating that phrase for the third time. Now, could it have been handled better? Certainly in retrospect, there are probably other ways to do things, but we, the public, don't know. I call bullshit. We, the public, do know. We saw the video. There was other ways that that situation could have been handled. Even Uncle Ben acknowledged that. If there are other ways for it to be handled, why wasn't it handled another way? So that you could preserve human life. See, that is the question. These cops got way too much latitude when they can decide and who they can decide to shoot. Can, can you or I simply say, well, you don't know what I was thinking. You know, like one of us going to the courtroom, we killed somebody. Well, you know, my client, you don't know what he was thinking. So basically that's it. It's all about what, whatever he say he was thinking. And, and, and you don't know what somebody is thinking. So therefore, you rely on evidence, right? You use critical thinking. It doesn't matter what the hell he was thinking. He murdered a man. That's it. Case closed. That's what they do to us. These cops got to be defunded, fam. That was a situation where the police didn't even need to be there. And whoever called the police on, on that dude, they should have known that it could end up in a murder. Because you've seen so many cases of people falling asleep in drive throughs in, in, in the middle of the night. Because you know people are coming from the club, sometimes people are drinking alcohol, people are sleepy, they're waiting in line, and you can fall asleep. Falling asleep in a drive through whether you're drunk or sober, could happen to anybody if you go to that drive through especially in the wee hours of the night, you're tired. That's typically the only reason why somebody is going, the only reason why somebody would be in a drive through in the middle of the night, because it's dangerous. But the only reason that somebody could be there is because they're hungry. And so you're waiting and you're waiting and you fall asleep. It happens. Never happened to me. I think I may have Close my eyes once or twice, but I've never fallen asleep. So 
This could have been anybody. We've already seen people get killed by the police falling asleep in the drive-thru or falling asleep parked at a fast food restaurant. We've already seen that. I'm sure that the people at Wendy's saw it. They called the police. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just not built like that, man. If it's me, you know, I'm, I'll go out there and just try to wake the dude up. I, I, I would hate to see somebody just lose their life from one of these trigger happy police officers. Because when they see black folks, man, they just got to, they just get excited. They get excited by squeezing that trigger. I would have tried to circumvent all of that. Because I first, first thing I'm thinking as a black person, period, do not get the police involved in your activities because they will turn you into a suspect and a victim real fast. They coming over there. You call them to your house, your house get broken into. Get out on the ground. Get out. Like, fool, I open the door for you. Get out. You inside your house. If you call the police and because you have an intruder, if you're inside the house, why in the hell would they just look through the house and just start shooting through the windows? This happens to black folks. It happens to other people too, but far more often to blacks than anybody else. That is because you have these race soldiers on police forces all over America. I can see it now. Or uh, little KKK boy, when you grow up, what do you want to be? I want to be a police officer. Why? So I kill the blacks, beat them up, arrest them. Not cool, fam. Not cool at all. Being Carson. Boy, you one of the worst of the worst. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what the talking about?